Today's lesson is 8.2 Reflections Day 1. Line reflections are flips. The line where a mirror could be placed is called the line of reflection or the line of symmetry. This link that you see here, we're going to watch this in class and I'll give you another handout to go along with that. A, a reflection can be thought of as a flipping of an object over the line of reflection. Each segment is reflected in segment AB. Draw and label each image. So to reflect P over this dashed line AB, it's like folding the paper in half right there. So P would swing down here below AB at a point equally distant away from that line of reflection. Three units up is P, so three units down would be P's image, or P prime. Q would do the same thing, only it would flip above AB, folding the paper in half. This would go up to approximately Q's Q prime, or Q's image, above that. Go three units above. E, so now my line of reflection, folding the paper in half like hot dog style, E would go two units to the right, would be E's image, and F would also go two units to the right, F's image, F prime. The image and its reflection are congruent. They're the same shape and size. That's what congruent means, the same shape and the size. The line that runs between them is equidistant. Equidistant to the line of reflection. So the line that runs between them is equidistant to the line of reflection. So two units away, two units away, two units away, two units away. Again, the line of reflection was this original AB. Peter folds a paper, piece of rectangular paper into half. He uses a pencil to poke a small hole through the folded paper. He then unfolds the paper and labels the two resulting small holes A and A prime. If the distance between A and the fold line is two and a half centimeters, then find A all the way over to A prime. Well, the distance between A and A prime is actually two and a half times two. This is the time symbol here, times two, which would be five centimeters away because the fold line if they're two and a half apart, then this would also be two and a half, right? So two and a half times two gives you five. The distance between A and A prime then is five centimeters. Number one, the reflection in the x-axis. The original coordinates, so A, we're going to call A is uh, negative two, one, as you can see there. B on the coordinate axis there is 3, 1, and C is 3, 4. We're going to reflect it over the x-axis. So here's my line of symmetry, the x-axis here. So A has to come equally distant. It has to become perpendicular and equally distant away from the line of reflection. So A's image would now become negative 2, negative 1. And B's image, equally distant and perpendicular to the line of reflection, would be 3, negative 1. C's image would become 3, negative 4. And yes, please use a ruler or a straight edge to connect your triangle A prime, B prime, C prime.
So what do you notice about the original image and its coordinates? The x values remained the same, right? The x coordinates or the x values coordinates are the same. The y coordinates, however, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 4, negative 4. The y coordinates are inverses, or another word for that is opposites. They become their opposite, their inverse, their opposites. So x remains x, and y is its inverse, negative y, or the opposite of y, or the inverse of y. So when you reflect over the x-axis, the y-coordinates become their opposites. Reflection in the y-axis. So we've got a quadrilateral here, P, Q, R, S, and P is 2, 2, Q is 4, 3, R is 5, negative 4, S is 1, negative 3. And we're going to reflect it over the y-axis. So now the y-axis is our line of symmetry here, folding the paper hot dog style kind of idea. So reflecting over the y-axis, P becomes 2 to the left, so P's image. Q, which is currently 4 to the right, comes over here and becomes 4 to the left equally distant and perpendicular. S is one away from the Y, the line of reflection, the Y axis. S's image becomes one unit away. And R, which is five units away, swings over here five units away on the um, same Y value, but the X value is now its opposite. Oh, that's R. That's R, the image of R. So again, let's use our uh, ruler or straight edge. I'm going to use my line tool, P, Q, R, S, and then connect back up to P there. So our P prime, the image of P, went to negative 2, 2. And uh, uh, Q prime went to negative 4, 3, and R prime became negative 5, negative 4, and S prime became negative 1, negative 3. So our X coordinate, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 4, 5, negative 5, 1, negative 1. So when we're going over the y-axis, our x-coordinates are inverses or opposites. And our y coordinates remain the same. So our rule x becomes the inverse of x and y remains the same. So all of our x values became their opposite, our y's remained the same. That's the rule for reflection in the y-axis. Going back, reflection in the x-axis, going over the x-axis, our y-coordinates are the inverse or opposites. Number three, 
figure ABCD is drawn on the coordinate plane. It is repeated by first reflecting it in the y-axis. So we're going to make our reflecting in the y-axis our, we're going to negate our x values, right? Going back to reflecting in the y-axis. In the y-axis, our x-coordinates are inverses. And reflecting in the x-axis, that's our y's become their opposite. So it says figure ABCD is drawn in the coordinate plane. It is repeated by first reflecting it in the y-axis to, to contain A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. The image is further repeated by reflecting it in the x-axis to obtain A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime. Complete the table by finding the position of each of other images. So uh, we don't have the graph paper. We just have the rule. So we negate our x or make it its opposite and maintain the y and reflection in the y-axis. So the opposite of negative 1 is 1 and 3 remains. The opposite of negative 3 is 3 and the 1 remains. The opposite of negative 6 is 6 and the 1 remains. The opposite of negative 6 is 6 and the 4 remains constant. Going over the x-axis, our x remains the same, and our y value becomes its opposite. So we have a negative 1, and the 3 becomes negative 3, its opposite. We had negative 3 to start with, and the y becomes its opposite, negative 1. The negative 6, the image is further repeated by reflecting it in the x-axis. Oh, so we're starting from this. We're starting from this. Mm, mm, mm. Go back here. So the x from here remains the same, and we do the opposite of our y, negative 3. The x remains 3, and the y becomes negative 1. The 6 remains the same, and the 1 becomes negative 1. The 6 remains the same, and the 4 becomes negative 4. So we're not going back to the original like I had started there. We're starting from A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and then reflecting it over the x-axis. So be careful on that one. Make sure you corrected that. Number four, the vertices of a triangular traffic sign are 0, 4, negative 4, 0, and 3, 0. Reflect this figure about the x. I'm going to let you do number four on your own. Put on those points, u, v, and w. Connect it, make the triangle. Reflect it over the x-axis, right? And we'll talk about number four in class.